Welcome to Learn Typing and welcome to Beginner Lesson 1. Congratulations also on taking the very first step to your typing success. In this short tutorial we'll show you how to use the Learn Typing website so you can type real words and phrases by the end of Lesson 1. Alright, let's get you started. Started on the path to typing success. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find the link to the Beginner Lesson 1 in the description under this video. We're going to begin by looking at the home keys and the correct finger position for these. If you're on the website learntyping.org, just scroll down now till you see the two following images on Beginner Lesson 1. The first image shows the QWERTY keyboard with the correct finger position for the home keys. This is for the left and the right hand. ASD and F on the left hand and J, K, L and a semicolon on the right hand. Now here's an important note. These are called the home keys because they are the keys your fingers must return home to after typing any other key. Now the second image shows the colour and the numbering codes that we use on the website for each finger. For example, throughout this course, your right index finger is used on all red keys, also shown as number 1. Most keyboards also have small bumps on the letter F for the left hand and the letter J for the right hand to help you find them without looking. Because of course, this is a touch typing course and when you finish the course, you'll be able to type every letter in the alphabet plus numbers and symbols without looking at your keyboard. As you progress through your typing lessons, you will learn the correct finger positions for all keys. Alright, if you're on the website now, you should see some yellow boxes just below the two images we've been looking at. And we're going to use these now to get you started and well on the way to your typing success. You'll need to pause this video a few times in the next couple of minutes as you follow these directions and begin your very first lesson. This is where you're going to learn some new skills. Skills that will help you pass your exams and assignments, get a job and just simply make life easier. Here's what to do. First, move the cursor arrow, sometimes called the mouse pointer, over the first yellow exercise box as shown below. Now with the cursor arrow over the yellow box, click the left mouse button and you'll see the cursor line blinking inside the yellow box. You are now ready to start typing. With the mouse pointer still blinking or flashing inside the yellow box, place your fingers gently on the home keys. Don't press any yet. Now look above the yellow box and you'll see some letters. You're going to type these now. Keep your fingers resting on the home keys and copy the text from above each exercise box by tapping the same key on your keyboard. Always use the correct finger position. With the index finger on the left hand, tap the letter F. Do this four times so that you have the same number of Fs typed into the yellow box as there are above the yellow box. After each group of four letters, such as these four Fs, press the spacebar once with your right thumb. Do this whenever you see a space between letters. Now do the same with the letters D, S and A. Press each letter four times and then press the spacebar where there is a space or a gap between the letters above the yellow box. Please note, you're only using the fingers on the left hand for this exercise, while the fingers on the right hand stay still, resting over the home keys J, K, L and semicolon. Keep copying the letters in their groups of four until you reach the end of the line. Now go back and repeat this exercise box. Here's a quick, on, quick tip on how to do this. With the mouse cursor still in the text box, hold down the control key and tap the letter A. The control key is normally at the bottom left and the bottom right of your keyboard and it has the letters C, T, R and L on it. 
When you hold down the control key and tap the letter A, it will block or highlight all the text in the text box. The very next letter you type will delete what was in the box and you can begin the exercise again. It's easy. Each exercise box should be repeated at least once. When you've done an exercise two times, you can then press the tab key to move the cursor instantly to the next exercise box. Do this now and you'll see the cursor blinking inside the text box with the letters A, S, D and F above it. OK, here's a little summary. If you do the four steps below, you'll be off to a great start. First of all, do each exercise box twice. Secondly, do all beginner and advanced lessons. Third, do the lessons in order without skipping any. And fourth, practice for 30 minutes five times a week. Now to guarantee your typing success and to sure, ensure that you avoid the frustration of becoming a slow typist or one who keeps on struggling with making annoying mistakes, we recommend that you download our ebook Typing Success. You will then have your own personal tutor and motivational coach to help you pass your exams, get that job, amaze your friends and even yourself and exceed your typing goals. In our ebook Typing Success, Doreen Holding takes her 40 years experience as a typing teacher and equips you with the correct typing methods and some very special typing tools that you need to gain speed, accuracy and professional confidence. This includes her special speed formula written exclusively for the LearnTyping.org website. Jeff Holding, that's me, has also included some powerful motivational tips that is used to help him go from the bottom of the lowest French class at his high school with 33% to third top in this class with 89% when doing stage 3 Greek for a degree. Now to find out exactly what's in the book, all the details, Click the ebook image at the bottom of the page for beginner lesson one on the Learn Typing website. If you're on YouTube, there's a direct link to the ebook in the description under this video. If you've got any questions or comments about the website or the ebook, please feel free to use the blue contact button on the right of the website. Dory and Jeff wish you all the best for your typing success.